Hello everyone, this is Sachin, Sachin and in this tutorial I am going to talk about how to integrate chat GPT with Google Sheet. In last video I have explained about chat GPT API and how can be you know integrate with Postman tool and how to generate the token ID. So all the things I have explained in the last video. If you have missed last video, please watch then watch this video. Okay. So now let me move on. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one Google Sheet first. Okay. And this is a sheet. And click on blank sheet. And this sheet name, I will say chat GPT underscore, you know, tool. So this, this will work as a tool. Okay. So this is a tool. So first here, what we can ask the questions and here we'll get the answer. Okay. Okay. Now let me make it bold. All right. All right. The seat is ready. Now what, what I am going to do. So in, in, in the last video, uh, you know, I have talked about how can we hit the, you know, API, the same API, I'm going to integrate in seed and where I'm going to pass the parse this response and whatever question I'll ask in the sheet, the same will be recorded into the actual seed. So column A, I'll ask the question, column B, the answer will be stored in the respective cell. All right. So before moving forward, let me give to the credit to Prem Nisha. She has written one very good article for this, how to integrate chat GPT with, you know, Google sheet and the idea I got from this article, it has published in the Hindu newspaper. And now let me move forward. So this is a sheet and in the sheet, if you click on the extension and there you will see the option called app script. When you click on app script, so this app script page will open let it load so by default it is created one function into the code.js file okay so this i am going to delete so this app script it is you know it has reference to this same sheet okay so now i am going to you know take the code so this is this is you know uh, the repository i have created this public and from here you can get this code so I'm copying this first function and I have added, you know, a couple of lines as well that I'll explain what the mean of those, you know, blue lines. So now I have copied. So now I am, you know, pasting here. Now I have click on save. Now let me explain what this code mean. So this is the method like summarize content. Okay. So you can give any name. Okay. Doesn't matter. And now this is a spreadsheet app and that get active spreadsheet. So which is seed. So this is the active spreadsheet. Okay. And this, you know, script has address for the seed. So now, and now it is taking the reference for the seed one, the name of the sheet. So even I'm talking about the seed one, if you're getting multiple seed, then you can give the respective seed name here. And now in seed name, we are getting, you know, get last row. So if you are, if you are, if you are adding, you know, five questions, six questions, seven questions, then it will take that, you know, uh, the number of the last row. Okay. And this is the URL for the API, the same URL I have used in, in the postman. And, you know, this is a, some parameter, pa parameter of, you know, the body and the same we have, you know, used, uh, uh, in the postman. And a couple of parameter, it was optional as I, as I, I already talked about. And those are the mandate parameter. Okay. So now same parameter it has used as well and some extra parameter. Okay. Those are the optional. Okay. So prompt where we can pass the question. So as of now it is blank. Okay. So I am going to go to next section. It is option. That is the object inside this the method type this is a type of you know get method but this is a post method okay not get okay content type application JSON and you know this mute HTTP exceptions true and payload I have kept it is a blank here 
and authorization this bearer and need to pass the token the same things okay that i did in the postman and now coming to this part this is a loop okay so this loop means we will write the question here example okay so what is what is selenium okay let me let me write so this is one question so you can this 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 cell is called 2 and this column is 1 so 2 comma 1 and this is called 2 comma 2 i think it's clear okay the similar things you can see here it is start from 2 it will it will you know read the questions and it will go to you know last question how many question you have written number of content it is you know you can see here the get last row and it will go into the loop so seat name dot get range content content is a 2 2 comma 1 it will read the question it will get the value and it will store into the prompt content so this is the question and in this question uh, this new line as well as a bullet points it is appending and what it will do when i will get the answer it will convert into the bullet point okay the same thing it is assigned to the prompt it was earlier blank okay so now the question it is assigned here now in the next right json the string you file and here you know this para params to summarize it is you know sanding and what it will do it will convert in javascript to json and uh, the payload uh, you know the payload it will pass here so now this everything it will come inside the uh, inside this option object okay so now if you go to the next line this is the url fetch app dot fetch and here we are passing the url this is the url of the request and the option so option it is having all the things like which type method content type a mute exception and payload payload we have already assigned the whole payload here and the header so this token is pending that i'll add and uh, and this method it will hit the request too, and then we'll get the response into in this text right if you want you can use the console as well so i have you know commented all and now we are using this you know json parser which will you know parsing the request and why we are parsing when i am hitting the request right the answer is here okay and we are getting you know couple of extra things so you can see twice sys this is a array inside this the answer will be inside the text okay so the same things so you can see here choices okay so this is the array so the first index we are picking and then we are going to read the text and the answer it will be you know uh, it will be stored here so here you can see this is a 2 comma 1 this is a 2 comma 2 so here you can see this 2 comma 2 so okay so here it is about 2 and this column only the change okay to set you know the answer value and this will it will write okay so now we can see here it is working or not so it is set everything it is in place so what you need to do just you need to click on run nothing so when you click on run right so first time it will ask the permission okay so now i am going to select you know my uh, user id and now you need to click here you can give any name i forgot to give the name uh, that's why it is coming you know untitled so swine now click on allow okay it has started execution okay so why it is failed because the bearer token is pending so now here let me give chat gpt and here google sheet okay so now let me add the token let me click on save now let me click on run it is executing you can see here yeah execution completed so if you go on the sheet right and here you can see here the answer came here and the similar you can ask you know multiple questions and it will go into the loop and it will add the answers here okay i think is clear okay so now what i'll do let me set like this okay i don't want to open again again this app script right i want something like uh, that can handle from this seat only so how can we do so for there there are a couple of options one option 
we can create some button and we can assign you know that app script to. so how we can do so one you can you know click on insert and click on drawing and now you can choose any shape i am choosing this shape okay i'll say here execute okay click on save and close and this i am going to move inside the shell okay so this is a button okay now if you click right you will get three dots just click here and here you will get couple of options like edit delete assign a script and all text so what i'm clicking on assign a script so when you click on assign a script then here you need to pass the you know main script to function name so in this case this is a main function name of the script and the same you can pass here when you pass it click on ok and now it is ready okay so i am asking you a few more questions okay give me fake data for login the application so i am i am okay i am asking some you know some fake data okay test cases for test cases for mouse okay so this is the things i have asked to jet chat gpt so now uh, you know earlier i was you know click, uh, last time i click on run okay so now i create this button so if i click here execute okay let's see it will work or not so now you on top you can see this running script right i am getting this uh, the message see it is working and first answer it came and then again you know it threw the error because of the load on the you know chat gpd server so now let me let me try to hit one more time again so the first answer it will be override yeah it has overwritten now the second question you know it is reading why chat gpt it will give you know something okay yeah we got the answer for the second question as well it has given you something the people they'll use you know like password at the rate and some username now the third one test cases for mouse let's see yeah it has given the test case for mouse and script has over okay so this is the one way we can create the button and you can close you know the script as well but even i i don't like this button because someone can delete right or might be i can delete if i am doing something why well, want you know something you know uh, some different way where that should be you know long lasting things so either we can create the button on top okay so this is what i like okay so how can we create the button on the top in the headers which is not uh, you know going to delete accidentally so in order to create what you need to do so you can you know take this piece of code which i have created and this chat uh, app script just add this piece of code okay let me explain this piece of code okay so this is one function you can give any function name okay on open and this spreadsheet app get ui on this ui and by reference of this taken uh, with the reference of this ui it is create menu it is you know inbuilt method and where i am saying uh, on top i should get chat gpt menu and inside it i am going to add you know one button called execute and that button it should call this function called you know menu item one you can give any name so menu item one it is a function and here you can see this menu item one and this function i am calling the main function the summarize content where you know uh, the the same function which i have assigned in here okay so what i'll do i am i have you know click on save and let me try to refresh this page now you will see one button it will you know generate here yeah you can see this chat gpt and this button called execute okay so now i am going to delete this one data so capital of india okay and uh, uh, what is ai 
ओके सो टू क्वेश्चन आई एम आस्किंग एंड वन मोर क्वेश्चन आई कैन आस्क टेस्ट डेटा टू टेस्ट द एमेजोन ओके सो दिस आर थ्री क्वेश्चन एंड नाउ आई एम गोइंग टू क्लिक ऑन एग्जीक्यूट ओके लेट मी नो ट्राई वन मोर टाइम ओके या इट इज वर्किंग Yeah, you can see here we are getting the definition as well. What is AI? You know, long definition. Okay, and the test data. Okay, something how can we test the home page? Okay, delete this. Let's keep only capital of India. Oh, it is giving all the capitals. How come? Okay, so I am keeping only one question. Okay, it has completed. Let me you know ask one more question. what is the future of ai okay let's see yeah we got the answer okay ai will continue to become the more sophisticated and powerful with the potential to revolutionize many industries yeah it has mentioned very good points and now this button if you want you can delete okay and both button it will work now this and this okay and this is what we can integrate chat gpt with google sheet and you can create one tool uh, and you can you know use in your daily life why i'm saying why how you can use you can ask for write the test cases and test cases you can store you can you know read those test cases how ai writing those test cases and you can go through it you can increase your knowledge all right just what i want to cover in this tutorial i am sure it will help you if you are liking this video please hit the like button and please share and subscribe to my channel thank you happy learning bye bye